9-11 first responder Luis Alvarez. He passed away in June from cancer, cancer related to the time that he spent at Ground Zero. Just days before he was there, you saw him sitting next to John Stewart, who became a champion for all of them, uh, testifying on Capitol Hill, fighting for an extension to make permanent and fill the September 11th Victim Compensation Fund. You all said you would never forget well, I'm here to make sure that you don't. And we never will. With us this morning, we are so glad to have Luis's son, David Alvarez. Good morning, David. Good morning. Thank you for having me. David, thanks so much to have you here. This is your first 9-11 without your dad. It is. Uh, and, and I wonder, of course, we both wonder how your family's doing, but, but also what this day means to you. Well, the day has meant a lot to me uh, ever since. 2001, ever since 9-11. Um, but as you mentioned, this is the first time, the first day of remembrance that I don't have my father with me. Mm -hmm. uh, and it absolutely takes on a whole new meaning. Yeah. Um, you have incredible strength. Uh, you were by his side through this entire years long battle. He passed away just before that legislation was passed and signed by the president. Right. But at his funeral on July 3rd, you spoke, and I watched it this morning and was in tears. I just want everyone to watch a moment of you honoring your father, if we could play that. Thank you. He understood that to be a public servant meant to be in service of the greater good for all. Should I be fortunate enough to join the NYPD in the near future, I hope to be as admirable and effective an officer as he was. My father and I didn't always see eye to eye, like any father and son pairing would, but I loved him like nothing else. He was my hero, my inspiration, the one above all I wanted to make proud, the one I aspired to be. And he called you all of these names like Bubba, but you say it, it made you most proud when he called you son, my firstborn son. How will you honor him? Uh, well, my father, Caring for my father in his last few weeks um, has actually inspired me to go back to school. I'll actually be pursuing uh, a nursing program next year. Uh, my hope is to uh, help care for other cancer patients, hopefully other first responders as well. Good for, Good for you. Uh, you know, the nurses are the front line of health care. Uh, they're, they're the ones who Lately. truly deliver the patient care. I've seen that so many times, including with my family. Uh, I want to talk about your father's legacy here because Absolutely. I think a, a lot of Americans might have been introduced to him during that very sure. powerful testimony yeah. on the Hill. Uh, I just want to play a clip of that if we can uh, and then get your reaction. I have been to many places in this world. Excuse me. And done many things. But I can tell you that I did not want to be anywhere else but ground zero when I was there. You made me come down here the day before my 69th round of chemo. And I'm going to make sure that you never forget to take care of the 9-11 responders. You know, you could say that testimony worked, right? Uh, that, that they voted, I believe, unanimously Almost. To, to fund this fund for, to, to the year 2090. Do you consider that part of your father's legacy and are you proud of it? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I was there the day uh, of the final vote. Uh, I was sitting in the gallows uh, and it was incredibly emotional, more emotional than I thought it would be to hear all those yays counted. Um, but it's absolutely part of my father's legacy and something that I'm incredibly proud of. Yeah. What in conversations you had with your father and just what you knew of him from his character, what do you think he would hope that you could contribute in his legacy to this world, you and your two brothers? Yeah, uh, my two brothers, Tyler and Ben, um, he just tell us to take care of each other. Uh, that was one of his final messages to all of us, really, uh, before, before passing was uh, just take care of each other. Um, take care of those around you, take care of your family, take care of your friends, mm -hmm. um, and just do the best we can. I think uh, 
Jim and I both know personal loss well, and I can say there are no words that help. There's nothing no. we can do to yeah. ease your pain, but Thank you. but the memories will always be there for years and years and years, and you certainly have a lot to cherish. Yeah, absolutely. One thing that I do uh, really appreciate and is that uh, not many people have this opportunity to have uh, their loved ones immortalized. That's um, true. And, you know, one thing that uh, my father was... Uh, sort of concerned about um, in, in passing was that uh, he wouldn't see all of us grow up. Mm. He wouldn't see all of us get married. He wouldn't yeah. see his grandchildren. Um, but, you know, someday, God willing, you know, I'll have my own children who can just Google search their grandfather's name and, and see these incredible videos of him yeah. um, testifying. Yeah. But no question, his memory is alive. Absolutely. We appreciate you and wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Thank you, David. With your, with your studies thank going you. forward. Good luck. And thank right. you for pursuing that and giving back in that way. Yep. Thank you.